I should have made this video a couple years ago. CSA W59 is the Canadian code for welded steel construction. It used to look a lot like AWS D1.1 for ultrasonic inspection, but in 2018, we changed the rules. So you don't have to use the big red brick anymore. Check it out. In 2018 in Canada, we had the option to push out some changes and we did. We put that in as Annex X. Now Annex X allows you to use things other than the big red brick or the snail. You can now use smaller probes, different angles, different frequencies, and even baby probes like a quarter inch. You can use whatever is appropriate from 45 to 70 degrees to suit the weld geometry. And because we can use any different angle, we can also use manual phased array. I'll talk about that in a second. And we also allow you to use a zero degree transducer for corner joints and T-joints. So all that pesky lamellar tearing that you were probably just barely seeing and you didn't know what it was, so now you can scan from the back side of that T-joint and find all that nasty stuff. If you're used to using these probes and you want to keep using them, that's fine. You can still use an IIW block with the side drilled hole in it. We call it the fixed attenuation technique. This was always in clause 8 in 59. It is still in clause 8 in W59 and just keep using it. We did not change the muscle memory mechanics portion of what you're going to do. There are some wording changes and some improvements, some clarity, but otherwise just keep going. If you want to use different frequencies, different angles, and different size probes, you're going to use Annex X. And Annex X is called the TCG technique, which implies, yes, we're going to actually use a TCG or a DAC like the rest of the world. In Annex X, we allow different angles. So that opens up the door for phased array, the ultimate in varying your angle and nothing really beats a manual phased array inspection. Let's use this weld qualification coupon as an example. This is three eighths of an inch thick, nine and a half millimeters, which has a half inch or 13 millimeter root gap. You can imagine that if I have this great big huge probe on this thin weld with that cap on, there's just no way I'm going to get the weld root on the first leg with the big probe. But with a smaller probe such as this, this is one of my favorites, this is a Vermont NDT 10 meg 32 element in a size 10 configuration. If we use this, we'll have no problem seeing this defect. There's a lack of root fusion towards one end of this piece and you can see here that it just pops out no problems and you'd never get that with the bigger probes. Do you remember that part of your procedure that said that you had to check the linearity of your machine every two months or 40 hours? Yeah, that was arduous. Now it is once a year, just like most other codes in the world. If you continue to use the fixed attenuation technique, that's these big guys, the big red brick or the snail, you'll continue to use clause 11 and clause 12 for your acceptance criteria. But if you're going to use the TCG technique, so smaller probes, different frequencies, different angles, manual phase array, your acceptance criteria are going to be in Annex X. They're different and here's why. There's two things to note about those tables. Number one, they are not angle dependent. There is no longer any dependence on angle since we're free to select what angle works best for the inspection geometry that we have to look at. The other thing is that if you remember the old tables, a smaller number meant a worst defect. So if you had something that was a minus 14, I was a monster compared to a plus 14, which would just be fuzz, right? which is kind of counterintuitive. Low score was bigger. Now, everywhere else on the planet, if we have a DB rating for an indication, a high number is a big one and a low number is a small one. So in order to try to move the code forward, what we did was we flipped everything upside down. So now it is back to the way it should be. A big number is a big indication and a tiny number is a small indication. I hope you found the video useful. In 2018, we did make some major changes. I've only talked about five of them here. If you like the video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons down below. And thanks for watching.